Good morning, good morning. So, it's gold farm time. Let's go find some obsidian. Obsidian? Obsidian. Now, the farm we're going to build, which is a design by Ian XR4, is going to require an awful lot of obsidian. There's three or four portals I need to build, so I need to work out exactly how much obsidian that is and spend the next hour or so mining it, because it takes a long time when you're ungeared. But it's a choice between mining obsidian and finding magma blocks for a gold farm, and I don't know, it's just... The obsidian seems less daunting because I know where it is. Anyway, I'll link the design down below if you want to make it yourself. And I'll see you in 86 years when I've finished mining it. <laughs> okay, I double check the farm and I need 56 pieces of obsidian. Now, there is a slight issue that I completely forgot when deciding I was going to make this farm. And that is, I need a turtle egg. I can quite easily get seagrass, can quite easily find some turtles. Picking up that egg and moving it. Impossible without silk touch. So, how do I go about getting silk touch? I'll be back when I've got an idea what to do. For the meantime, I'm going to show you my renovations. And here we are at my newly renovated house base underground castle thing. <laughs> I don't quite know what I'm calling it yet, but we've got ourselves an entryway with a little bit of a detailed floor. I'm actually happy with this detailing. Up until that point, I need to do this bit a bit better. I've got stuff on the wall, a little bit of storage, personal storage, and a nice little cozy room here. And that's about it so far. Down here, uh, I'm developing. <laughs> I've got a bed on the floor, but no, I'm really happy with how this little bit turned out. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know if you like it. If you don't, tell me what you don't like about it. And while you're down there, you might as well like and subscribe too. <laughs> okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. I have 30 levels, which is enough for a decent amount of enchanting. So, we're going to get an enchanting set up. The only thing is, for an enchanting setup, I need 15 bookcases, which means killing a lot of cat. No, 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 no. I can't go back on my morals. I really can't. So we're going to do something much more sensible. We're going to go hunt for some ender pearls, get a bunch of blaze rods, find a strong goal, and loot the library. Yes. Much more sensible. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Oh, God, I wish I wasn't a vegetarian. This is not how I wanted to be spending my Saturday nights. Bridging out of a lava. With a mushroom and a stick. Okay, now if we're lucky, we can get him. <laughs> We've managed it. Oh, and we're striding. We are striding. Now, which way do we go? Well, that got us nowhere. So, let's crack on on foot. strange noise I apologize but I found what I'm looking for oh I've been everywhere just like I'm gonna say Nicholas Cage Johnny Cash that's the big difference between Nicholas Cage and Johnny Cash don't ask me why why I thought with that just no oh, I'm tired can you tell I had a long day at work and now I'm recording Minecraft videos nah it might be too high. Three wide should be enough. And the last thing I want is a ghast. Do need some space though. Don't need you. Don't need you. 
I need you and a few of your friends. Oh, thank you. So I have collected one in this world before. So where did I put it? That'd be great. Thank you. That's two. That's, that's such a strange mob. Thank you. Now, as you're all aware, I'm a very experienced Minecraft player. I don't let anything bad happen. No, no, no. Nothing bad happened on that excursion. I came out perfectly with plenty of ender pearls and plenty of blaze rods. And as I sit here and tell my story, you cannot convince me otherwise. No, 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 no. Definitely not. Mm, I lost track how many times I actually died doing that. Let's see if we can't montage them. Oh. oh no. Okay, so that was only twice. I definitely died another three times on top of that, but I must just not have been recording. <laughs> anyway, we're not too far in, so let's go find our stronghold. Now, in order to find a stronghold, you need Eyes of Ender. To get Eyes of Ender, you need Ender Pearls and Blaze Powder. To get Blaze Powder, just simply do that. There's a very fancy way of finding out how to get to a stronghold with just two eyes. People a lot smarter than me will tell you how to do it, but I haven't got a clue, so I'm going to have to do it the other way. Normally, you'd throw your pearl and it's going to fly off somewhere. Could be any direction, and that's the way you want to travel for about a thousand blocks. After about 500 blocks, chuck another one, if you've got enough. And eventually, it'll start to float down instead of up. And that's when you're going to have to search. Now, the fancy people do it by chucking two and recording a specific place on the eye. I'm not even going to attempt it because I'm not smart enough and it involves math. So we're going to chuck it and see where we go. Oh, so we're going off that way. Now, I can't remember the exact thing. I think it's a big percent chance to break. might be less. But when you throw a pearl, you might get it back. You might not. Froggy. First froggy of the world. Look at him go. <laughs> anyway, we haven't got time for frogs. Let's keep going. Still this way. A couple more hundred blocks and we'll chuck another pearl. Oh, we're in the portal. Let's see if there's anything worth taking. Silk touch coal. I don't know. Uh, I suppose I could try risking it with a silk touch hole. I don't know. Getting a bit late though, I should probably sleep. And I'm gonna see this fortress thing through. Oh that way. About a thousand blocks out in either direction. Let's try again. We still ended in the right way. Yep. And there's our first pop. Let's keep going. I'll remember you for later. Mm -hmm. Where are we? Minus 1000, minus 1800. Okay. We're another 500 blocks out. Let's try again. Oh. That was definitely down. Guess that means it's time to dig. There's also a way of knowing the exact place of the entrance of a stronghold, which again, I learned all this stuff learning to speedrun and I was absolutely god awful at it. And it's something I probably will pick up again at some point, but not now. Also, speedrunners are much more likely to dig directly down. I'm not going to do that. So, let's see if we can't find the cave system it belongs in. Let's see if we can't get our ender pearl back. I think that one's gone. I think it would be here if anywhere. Hmm. What do we do about this then? Got plenty of blocks. Guess I've built myself a tunnel. Okay. Let's dig. Well, chop then dig. Oh, 
Oh yeah, what else have I got to mention? Something else I found. <laughs> I got my first wither skull. Anyway, it's not important to the story. It's not really a story. Not important to the mission. There we go. Oh, let's keep going down. And these, my friends, are the bricks we're looking for. Oh. <laughs> Is that a geode? I can't tell if this one leads straight into a geode. Anyway, this is not a safe place to be. So. I'll probably montage this. Let's go. some books down shall we get rid of these first got me axe let's go what are we getting 18 so far can't remember how many I actually need no oh, that's the wrong tool there's also a chance of that's nice. Mm, it's all right. Hey, that is what we're after. That's what we call pay dirt. We still want the books though. I'm breaking three. More important than wood. Actually, no, it's more important than brick. There we go. So, um, I suppose, let's get out of here then, shall we? And I'll meet you back at the base. Woo! That was easier than expecting that. Well, not easier than expecting, but I got much luckier than I was expecting, that's for sure. Now, the gold farm itself, it's not that interesting to watch. So we're just going to do a quick time lapse. And I'll, as I said, I'll link it down below. That's going to go into much more in depth about what we're doing. And then... I'll end the episode with me doing a couple of sweeps. That's when I'm doing the outro. And then I'll see you on Wednesday. I seem to have a decent schedule now, every Sunday and Wednesday. Maybe pretty soon we'll start doing a bit of streaming. Can't guarantee it though. Right. Time lapse. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, so the pigmen are finally spawning. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my music down before we do this music and sound. Right, hostile creatures. Yeah, we're not going to want them screaming at us. Let's try 12%. Even that might still be a bit too low. Right. Now, as soon as I step through here, should start activating. And then, in about a minute's time, we'll just start pouring through. tell you this took a lot longer than it should have to set up it was a real pain in the bottom and not because of any reason other than the fact that I am pretty poor at this game all that aside though we got ourselves finally a working gold farm it means those golden apples are going to be coming in the dozens I also found a dark oak forest, meaning I might get a dark oak. I've got five dark oak saplings even, if I can actually get my words out, it's been a long day. Five dark oak saplings, meaning I can now use them for the apples rather than regular ones because they have a slightly better drop rate. And here we go. If I could uh, avoid throwing my sword, that'd be great. And they're just going to trickle through. Now, if I had a better sword, this would be a much quicker process. But you're about to see levels and gold skyrocket. I have to get rid of the sword slowly as they come in. Oh, part and part of it. I could just use them until they break. Things are better. We got a bit closer. And that is where we're going to leave the episode. I'm going to stay here for about half an hour. An hour. See where we end up. Till next time.